ها قد تنام حلمكم من مثلكم قد حاز من دنياه حفظا للكتاب This is why we say my brothers and sisters very importantly if you'd like to learn knowledge if you would like to know if you would like to increase your knowledge you need to quit sin وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ وَيُعَلِّمُكُمُ اللَّهِ Be conscious of Allah and Allah will teach you. Allah will ensure that you know. Your knowledge will increase. You know, Al-Shafi'i, Rahmatullahi Alayhi, his name was Muhammad ibn Idris Al-Shafi'i, the Imam, the great Imam of jurisprudence. He uh, complained once to one of his uh, mentors known as Waki' ibn Al-Jarrah, Rahimahullah. And he says, I complained to Waqi' ibn al-Jarrah about my memory and Shafi'i had a powerful memory. Trust me, he had a powerful memory and he's still complaining about the memory. Someone like myself and yourselves, perhaps our memories are weak. You know, we, we can't even memorize a phone number to save our lives. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. I think it was the case a few years back when we could do that. But technology has made us lazy. So Shafi'i with that powerful memory, he still complains. And he says, I complained to Waqi' ibn al-Jarrah regarding my, the memory. And he guided me saying, quit sin, be far away from sin, anything sinful, stay away from it. Because knowledge is the nur that Allah grants those and it does not come together with a person who is sinning. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us really. And this is why we mentioned yesterday and we are repeating it today. One of the best gifts of Allah upon us after our Iman and so on is the fact that we have an opportunity to turn to Allah to make amends. We have an opportunity to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to wipe out the bad we've done in the past. Very easy. You admit, you regret, you ask Allah's forgiveness and you promise not to do it again. And it's wiped out. That's the promise that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made. But if you have usurped the right of a fellow Muslim or a fellow human being, then you need to seek forgiveness from them as well. That's a fifth condition when you have wronged a fellow human. So if there is a sin committed between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, four conditions, we've mentioned them. But if you've added an individual, say I stole someone's money. I can't just say, Ya Allah, I stole these million, this million, but I ask you to forgive me. I won't do it again. I regret and I repent. And you're still going to enjoy that million. And the brother's asking you for the million. You need to return it or you need to tell him, please forgive me. And if he says, okay, then it's fine. If he, if he says no, then you've got a problem because you will either sort the matter out in this world or on the day of judgment, Allah will choose how the justice will be served. So all this we would only know if we took a moment to learn.